What's up guys, welcome back. Welcome to another video. For those of you that are new, welcome. I'm so happy to have all of you guys here. As I mentioned in the last video, I was struggling a lot after Australia with some really serious jet lag, but my energy levels are back up. I've been crushing my training. I've been super on point with my diet, super on point with my cardio, so I'm feeling really good at about four weeks out from the Salt Lake City Pro. I will not lie to you guys though, I've been struggling a little bit with kind of what I like to call the post-competition blues if any of you have competed before you may know what I'm talking about um, it's sort of like those first couple of weeks after you compete when that beautiful tan starts coming off and you see yourself not show day lean and show day shredded which obviously is not ideal it's not something that you maintain off of stage it, but it definitely gets into your head a little bit when you see those changes start to occur and when that happens you just got to remind yourself that that look on show day is for show day it is for the stage it is not something that's sustainable it's not something that you maintain long term and so I'm just reminding myself of that and I'm gonna put some self tanner on and remember that it feels good to be strong and I know that I need to maintain as much fullness as I possibly can right now leading into the Salt Lake City Pro so so overall I'm feeling good as far as my strength goes I feel like I'm maintaining a really solid look going into these next three weeks and so I'm really happy and the only thing that's bothering me is not having a tan so we're gonna fix that and I'm gonna put some Rosa self tanner on tonight what's up guys so I'm gonna show you something really crazy right now I'm gonna show you what I'm what I'm doing I am strapped up in these Normatec boots the Normatec what it does is it's sort of like it's this little tube here that fills the boots up with air and it um, creates like compression on your legs. So after a super hard leg day, which I just had yesterday, this is feels amazing for recovery. The compression helps to break up the lactic acid that's built up around the muscles, which is essentially what causes muscle soreness, muscle tightness. And when you're recovered better, you're able to train harder, train smarter, fewer injuries. So taking my recovery seriously is something that's really important for me when I'm in prep. And so I'm doing a 30 minute session with the Norma Tech boots. If you have a place by you where you can do this, I'd highly recommend it. I'm here. All right, guys, I am back. Got my nails done. I asked for an ombre, uh, so you can kind of see it sort of fades rather than being a harsh line from pink to white. And I am competing again in a few weeks, so I figure this is kind of perfect. All right, so it's four o'clock, it's Saturday, and I still have my cardio to do. I went and trained this morning and did some recovery with cryotherapy and with the Norma Tech, which you guys saw in the last clip, but I still have to get my cardio in. Prepping for back-to-back -back shows isn't the easiest thing. You know, there's times where I'm tired and I would rather just put on some sweats and relax. It's Saturday, but at three weeks out, the grind does not stop, and I just kind of got to stop and reflect and remember that I love this, and I love challenging myself, and I love the fact that I am able to do this. So I'm not going to take one day, one minute, or one second for granted. I'm going to snap myself out of those moments where I inevitably am going to lack motivation, and I'm going to push myself to do it. It's in those times, and I've said this before, where you just sort of have to disattach emotion from the action itself, and you literally just have to do it. I could sit here and say, I'm tired, I'm hungry, my legs are sore, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to to remove all emotion from the action itself and I am just going to put my gym shoes on head to that cardio machine and get it done so all I have today is 25 minutes of hit cardio and that's it and I'll be done in no time I'm gonna take a scoop of the NLA for her her amino burner this is essentially BCAs and a fat burner in one. So it's gonna help me preserve my muscle, which is really important right now. And it's got some great ingredients in it as well that's going to help with thermogenesis, AKA support fat burning. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds here and it tastes really good. So that's about to go down and then cardio is about to go down. And I just wanna remind you guys that we're all human. I'm human, you're human. We're inevitably all gonna go through times where we lack motivation, but you have to learn to silence those excuses and think about the ultimate goal and the big picture. In the grand scheme of things, is 25 minutes of cardio really going to kill you? Is one hour workout out of your entire day 
going to be the hardest thing? No, it's not. 99% of the time, you're gonna feel so much better than you did before you even did it. So it's really just about silencing those emotions and just get it done. a beautiful day today. I am off for a beach shoot this morning. It is only 66 degrees, so I'm hoping I don't freeze. Loving this makeup by my girl Jessica. You guys have probably seen her in a ton of my videos. Anytime I have shoots that are local here to Los Angeles, she's my go-to girl. I am headed off to the beach for a beach shoot. I've got tons of new swimsuits that I'll show you guys as I try them on. So stay tuned and I'll take you guys along with me. Okay, just kidding about it being chilly. It is absolutely beautiful out here this morning. So this is suit number one. I actually just got this on Amazon and primed it and it arrived in two days and it was like $15. You guys, I get tons of my photo shoot, body suits, bathing suits, anything on Amazon. You can find so much on there for super cheap. So give you guys another quick little look at it. It's just a little one piece cut out on the sides and yellow, one of my fave colors. Outfit number two is this flowy dress that I actually got in the winter time and bought it as like a beach dress. So I'm so excited to finally be able to wear it. I got it at Forever 21. I absolutely love it. It's um, super flowy, cut out on the sides, if you guys can see. So gorgeous out here. Show you guys the water. let air dry today kind of give that beachy look suit number three this one I actually borrowed from Amanda so I don't know off the top of my head where she got it but I'll find out and I will put it on the screen or in the description box so that you guys know but another one piece that is kind of cut out in the back and on the sides some kind of bird on the front I'm scared of birds but it's okay if it's not my suit Shoot is a wrap, and I met up with these two beauties. Hello. You guys know him. <laughs> and Cassie. Hi. <laughs> and we just had some coffee at the firehouse. These girls had breakfast. Uh, we are headed back to the beach, and then we're gonna go see Emily's new place. I'm so excited. Very nice. <laughs> girls' night. <sighs> some up. girls like heels and cocktails, <laughs> which I do I like that as well, but tonight we prefer Sweatpants and face, and face masks. masks. Everybody come in. Oh. I'm in a. <laughs> I can't squeeze. 
Oh, group, we look creepy. Group YouTube sign off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. Give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Mwah.